leaders, and welcome to break time. Today's proverb is 1631. Gray hair is a crown of splendor. It is attained in the way of righteousness. Uh, I'm in an elder care facility. This is a workplace, and I love it here. There is so much story in this building, and there's so many stories that we could hear. The thing about elderly people is they have walked through experiences that you and I have not, and there may be some elderly people sitting there, but often they have walked through experiences that you and I have not walked through. They have experienced failure, they have experienced success. But here's the cool thing about the elderly that have this crown of glory around them. And remember, it's the elderly that have walked in righteousness. They have learned, they have learned how to fail. <laughs> a lot of life is made up of failure. And you know the, the interesting thing about it is, those who have walked in righteousness and they've learned to fail, they can tell you their stories with a smile on their face. Because you know why? They've lived through their failure. They've seen, that as they, the hindsight is twenty twenty. as they turn around and they look, they've seen how God has used their failure to God's success. And that's, that's one thing I just dearly love about our elderly people is they've walked through their experiences and boy, can we glean from them. And you know what else is, is, is it's interesting is there's stories that typically don't revolve around self. They have learned their, their identity. They're comfortable with who they are. They're not striving for others to help them achieve their level of success. They have truly learned to be settled and content. There's so much about the elderly that we, if we could hurry up and learn it, <laughs> we won't have to walk through some of the pain that they walk through. And you know, I, I would love to invite an elderly, elderly person to say, is this true? And, but just listen to their stories. Because I guarantee you that those who have attained that righteousness, that place, of, that place with the Lord where they have learned to be at his seat, love who they are. They have learned that deep secret of loving who they are because they have learned to fail. They have learned to succeed in life. And they've learned that wonderful, wonderful, precious secret of learning how to let God define who they are. They're no longer striving. They have a deep, settled peace. And that's, that's my goal. I want to learn that. So you know what I'm going to challenge you and I to do? I'm going to challenge us to find an elderly person to be a mentor. <laughs> to be somebody that you could sit with. Tell them your life. Because they love to hear. <laughs> they, love to, they love to listen. And they're very interested in people. And allow their experiences to teach us how to walk in the newness of ours. How to walk in righteousness. Because, you know, I've sat with some of the wisest people, and typically they're elderly. I don't typically have to say too much, but they're so close to God that there's such a thin space between them and God that they speak for God on levels that I just only hope to achieve here on earth. So God bless you today as you and I search out those great mentors that can help us go to those places with the Lord that they've already attained. <laughs>